30 wins. All right. Um, we're on the mat now. I'm grab a little bigger guy. <laughs> All, day. All right, so we've worked on getting this leg in. There's one other way to, that I really like to get my legs in. I'm anti putting legs in when the guy is on his knees for the most part. I'm not saying people don't do it effectively, but I also see a lot of people get reversed about 150 times on their way to learning to do it correctly. So what I would rather see you do is break the guy down. And again, I don't care how you get him on his belly, get him on his belly. Okay? Now. Very few guys will have their toes dug into the mat and have straight, strong legs like it's a freestyle match in a folk style situation. They just don't. Their feet are dangling around, chilling. Okay? So I reach back and I'll just kick this foot to me. Boop. Like this. Okay? Now, I got two options. A lot of high school kids, you guys can't really do this like bow and arrow series. Referees freak out like within seconds. So you can't take this over and do like this. Can't do this a lot of times. Some of you guys can, but I know a lot of high school refs get upset about that. But if you grab this foot and take it straight up, don't twist his body, don't make him yell a whole lot, and just go like this and slide your leg in, your leg's in and that's actually way tighter. How's your hip feel? <laughs> All right, I'm not even using my hips yet. He can't get his hip back down. Now when I add my hips in, it gets a lot tighter, okay? Hips are in. So this is pretty basic. It's a pretty simple turn, but I think it's really effective. A lot of guys will get here and they do what I call a wheel. They get like, they whip the guy over. Well, that does two things I don't want. And again, if you score points, I don't think any of your coaches are gonna get upset if you score from here. But we're trying to get better. We're trying to be at the highest level of the technique. I don't wanna be on this hit, okay? Plus that loosens up if he stops one, that gets loose every time I whip myself over. Instead, I get on this toe and I take these little baby hops and this stays just as tight on his hip the whole way. Hop, 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 hop. And I'm up here nice and high. His hip's still about ready to rip off. I'm up here nice and high and I can just reach over and grab his head and I end up in the exact same position I was just in, okay? I get that option to pin him if he turns into me. If he doesn't turn into me, to get my four, my four count or five count for you guys. And uh, then I hold him there for a while, let him fight down, okay? So that's one option, I'm gonna give you that one and one other one. So, go flat again. So I kick this to me. Again, this is pretty simple. Like, if you're up here fighting for wrists and hands, this guy's not thinking about what his feet are doing, nine times out of 10. Well, maybe I'm doing this, kick it right to me. Legs in. Now, now I'm set. I have one other turn that I really like, and this is uh, my boy Frank Beasley from NC State. He showed this to me. Dude had heavyweights doing it. He had 25 pounders doing it. Had everybody in the country able to do it. I'm just gonna, once I take my first hop, I'm gonna release my figure four, and I'm gonna put my foot right here, <coughs> okay? So basically my foot's right in between his legs, okay? Now I'm gonna take a knee pound up by his shoulder. Knee pound. See how that turns his hips? I'm gonna go loose grip to start. Loose grip, loose grip to start, because I don't wanna get down here and hug his back. Loose grip to start, suck him up to my chest, and pull forward. And then once you're here, you can adjust your lock right up on his face. It doesn't feel very good, but he can't yell about getting choked either, because you're right on his face, instead of on his throat. Right here. All right, get your count. And the beauty part of this one, no, there's no rule in the rule book that says you have to take a leg out. You gotta let go of a wrist on a, on a tilt. You gotta let go of a half if you have a half. Turn back down. Got it again. Okay. You can really wreck a guy with this. The hard part's getting there. Once you get there, it's pretty easy to score. All right, questions on either of those? All right, here we go, one, two.